ZBrush 2019 is here and with it a host of new features to check out. I'm Foligon and in this video we'll be taking a look at the new universal camera added to ZBrush 2019. We have actual cameras with real perspective and real focal length now. This is a really big deal and something I know a lot of you are really excited about. You can create and save multiple camera views as well as lock a camera in a specific place so that you don't accidentally bump it. Not only that, but they even gave us undos on our camera. So if you move something that you didn't want to, now you can fix it with the simple click of a button. So let's get in and start playing with the new functionality. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the monsters that I sculpted during the ZBrush beta. Let's begin by turning on perspective, opening up the sidebar on the left side of our screen, and docking our draw palette over there. So the first thing that you'll notice probably is that we have actual focal lengths in here now, which is awesome. We can very quickly select these to swap between different focal length presets, or we can add in a custom setting. We can also adjust the field of view slider as well as the crop factor. Not only that, but whenever we move our camera around, we actually have an undo button here now. So we can move our camera around a bunch of different directions and undo up to 14 times. Down here at the bottom of the draw palette, you can see here that we have the ability to create different cameras. So let me go ahead and create a new camera from a three quarter view. I'll turn my camera to the side and just click on store cam. It'll ask me for a name and I'll just call it three quarter view. What's awesome about this is that each camera will save your perspective settings and different focal lengths and your additional settings in here. Then you can toggle between those, rename them if you need to, or delete them. And then by clicking the top button here, it'll give you a drop down for you to choose from all your different cameras. And of course, the old perspective method still exists from previous versions, and you can toggle it back on by simply clicking the camera icon. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash Foligon, where I have even more tutorials, courses, brushes, materials, all the stuff that I use professionally for my work. Check it out. There's a link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.